name is Bill Carr and I'm a botanist with the Nature Conservancy of Texas and I'm standing in the middle of Nash Prairie, a relatively new preserve that belongs to the Nature Conservancy. It has been a hay meadow for probably 75 or 100 years, never was plowed, and still retains the natural uh, micro topography changes that are typical of coastal prairies. There are several features out here that um, help to make this such a, a unique and diverse place and one of them, one of those features are these pimple mounds like the one I'm standing on now. They're about 15 feet in diameter and maybe a foot or two taller than the rest of the prairie and they have a little bit sandier soil than the rest of the prairie. So they tend to be better drained and they'll support different plant species than the rest of the prairie. And what causes pimple mounds to form is still unknown. It probably has something to do with differential uh, shrinking and swelling of clay soils versus sandy soils and, and water percolation at various times. But one of, the, one of the other pet theories for the formation of pimple mounds is that they were created by large Pleistocene gophers, which haven't been seen in a while out here. But in addition to these well-drained soils on the pimple mounds, we also have poorly drained soils in the, in the drainage ways, the really shallow, almost imperceptible drainage ways that course through the property. And plants that need a little more water will grow in there, and plants that like better drained soil will be up here on the pimple mounds, and then all kinds of other plants are in the matrix in between. And all together, that allows a place like this to support more than 300 plant species.